Hi Libra, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they tell people about you. I'm gonna pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm gonna pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. And these are going to be things that they're holding back from telling you. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future roles can be reversed so take what applies to you the person on your mind your situation and leave the rest now let's go ahead and jump right in all right libra person on libra's mind show me what they tell people about libra about that so this person tells people and i see them telling their friends a couple of friends that you're a very loving and nurturing person that you really care about people that you really empathize with what they're going through i have the queen of cups that you're highly intuitive and that you follow your heart and listen to your intuition they also are telling people you two have a deep connection so you're dating or having a good time um now, I also see somebody here that's like waiting for you to show up, wanting to reconcile with you, and they're still in love with you. Um, so I feel like you got two people, Libra, so just follow along. Or if you don't have two people, I'm picking up on the two stories coming out here. So the three of cups coming out, having a good time. This person enjoys being around you. They like where things are going and they're waiting for their ships to come in, which means they're waiting for, you know, to hear from you the next time that they can, you two will go out. They are really excited about, they're like, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Um, the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, this person is, um, feeling that you two have a very deep, um, energetic connection that it's very magnetic and they feel like the electric spark from you when they're around you it's like very intense it's like lightning goes through their body and they just feel amazing with you now when they're not around you they can feel your energy so they know when you're sad they can feel when you're having a hard time so it's like if you're an anxious person or you have anxiety depression or just upset and you hold back um, this person feels their throat chakra closing and it's like they feel that you can't get some certain things off your chest as a, a metaphor, right? Like just get it off your chest, just get it out. So they feel like you hold back some things, but man, there's so much love there and it's beautiful. And I like this a lot. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this queen of cups. Wow. Okay. So the tower comes out as clarification for the queen of cups. And then we also have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Um, this person really fell for you quickly. They're very shocked by how just you take good care of yourself, how loving you are, how kind you are. Uh, it really took them by surprise. They were really shocked and it made them really want you and desire you like I don't want to say obsessive but you know they are like oh my gosh I really want you I'm so tempted to be around you all the time Libra so um yeah let's go ahead and clarify that three of cups this person is just all about you in that way um there's also like I said the other thing that comes out where um somebody who's waiting to reconcile waiting on you to come and talk to them because they want to reconcile with you but they're not saying anything they feel like you are the one that's really good with um speaking your mind well things happen between you and this person that was very um chaotic and it was a toxic relationship so whoever that is um 
you know, and I do have a lot of water that comes out as well as Aries. So, um, I have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and, um, Aries for this section right here. Um, I also have more cancer here and I have more Aries. So there's a lot of it going on through there, but you know, whether you're dealing with them now, but this just feels like somebody who, um, you had a chaotic relationship with and they realize that the, like they love you, they want you back and I don't know how they're going to fix it. Um, but I do see you also dating, having a good time, just hanging out, I love this. Let's go ahead and clarify the three of cups. So if there's a past person, the reason that they're probably feeling this is they feel you disconnecting from them, or they've seen things online where you look happier than you normally do. And that, or they've heard, you know, from someone, Hey, did you know Libra? Um, I saw them last night out and they looked great and blah, blah, blah. They were hanging out with this new person, or they just saw you and relayed the message to this past person that you don't care about. I understand. I get it. But just so you know, they're still in your energy because they won't let go. So, um, that's all right. Eventually they'll move on. Um, but I do see the new here as well. So we have the nine of swords that comes out as clarification with this three of cups. All right. They felt that you were nervous. Um, last time you two hung out. So new person, um, nervous and, they were having a really good time and they felt like you two were having a really great time. And then something caused you to be nervous or anxious and you might've had to leave. Um, we have the six of swords. I feel like also this person, they're just really into you that they pay attention to the little details that mean so much. And they're having a, they also have been going through a stressful time as well. So they feel like even through the good times, you're still kind of nervous, anxious, have anxiety, maybe depression. And they're like, how do I help you Libra to move on from that? Uh, because they want to move on from that and help you to, to feel better from whatever that situation is. There's also the fact that this person wants to ask you out again or get together again with you, but they're really worried that you might be like, no, I'm busy or something like that. So they're just kind of waiting on you. Um, past person here definitely wants to reconcile with you, but they have sleepless nights. They stay up thinking about you. They can't move on without knowing if you want to reconcile with them or not. You don't have to send them anything. You could even put something online if they're watching your social media, like, I have moved on and happy. And that would be an indicator to them that, oh, okay, that's, that's for me. So let's go ahead and clarify that three of wands. Hmm. All right. So this new person is waiting for you to show up because they feel that they are not, um, there's a, there's a lack of self-love here. It's, I want to say it's an insecurity. They can be a very loving person, but they're waiting for you to say something with this new person because of the fact that they don't want to overplay their card. They don't want it to seem, they have this idea that you might not be over someone and that's where the anxiety comes in. And so they don't want to be in a third party situation, but they want to help you move on from the stress. And they're just waiting for you to, you know, show up, come back, tell them because they feel that they just can't, they, they're not that person. I'm just going to put it like that. I feel like this person, they just worry like, what if you shut me down, Libra? What if you don't want to be with me? And the five of wands, um, that comes out here. See, that's where the insecurities, they really challenge this person and they feel like it's just too much. It can get very overwhelming and it becomes too challenging for them to, to be the one to reach out to you. I don't know if you were the one that initiated, um, contact conversation with this person, or you're just the one who talks more than they do and conversations between the two of you. If that's the case, then that's why they're waiting for you Libra to say something because they feel like you have a more vocal, um, demeanor on you verbalize everything that you want to say and 
you do it with love and compassion and understanding. It's just so sweet the way you handle it. Now, this other person that's waiting for you to show up, they're feeling like you have somebody else and that's why you're not coming back to them. And that's where they feel like, you know, it's a fight or flight mode. So be careful of the person from the past that you don't want to return coming back and wanting to fight for you. Um, make sure you put something out there, some indicator like this is over. I want you to move on and be happy um, with that past person. So that way they don't come back to cause drama with you. Um, I don't see them really pushing forward to do so because they're not rushing in, but they're feeling that desire of, do I fight for Libra or not? And it's making them start to change their mind a little bit of how they want to handle the situation. Do I approach them now or should I just keep waiting? And your new person here, like I said, they're just, I don't know, it feels like they're shy <laughs> or they just don't want to overstep boundaries with you. So let's go ahead and get some messages from this person on your mind. Or are they holding back from telling Libra? Okay, we have a, a couple of messages that are the new person and some, a couple that are the person from the past. And it's just because they can't seem to let go. But like I said, once you make it very clear, and maybe you have to make it clear all over again, that you've moved on, you just hope that they move on and they're happy and you're not coming back. And, you know, they have to at some point start working on themselves, but they're just feeling like, I don't want love, I don't care. I just want Libra. I'm going to wait for them to show up. So anyways, I'm starting to understand our connection. I am getting this as the new person that is having a great time with you because it was really shocking to them. They were so surprised and taken by, uh, I keep wanting to say your beauty, you know, you're a good looking person. <clears throat> Men are beautiful too. Okay. Men, y'all are beautiful too. I tell y'all all the time. So... <laughs> You're, you're a beautiful person and it just radiates and they love that. They didn't expect that. And they're starting to understand that the connection is deeper between the two of you. I'm so attracted to you. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. And it makes them nervous. So the more that they are attracted to you, the more they get to know you, the more nervous they become. Uh, I, I'm getting this feeling like, uh, gosh, Libra's way out of my league. And that's what's making them nervous. But um, they're very attracted to you because you're a lot of fun as well. But they do know that you also are going through some tough things that uh, are stressful and cause a little bit of depression and everything as well. The past person's still attracted to you too. I don't think they're ever going to not be attracted to you, Libra. Come on now. Why wouldn't they be? Right? So I don't react when people mention you. I'm getting this as the past person because if people are like, so, hey, you still talking to Libra or what's going on? They don't react. They, it's almost like they try and be numb about it or they just try to be like, ah, oh, it's no big deal. Um, I left when I saw you as someone. So I'm getting this past person feeling that you were with someone else or, and they don't have to physically be there and leave when they saw you as someone. It could be that they were searching online and going through social media and they left, they clicked off and it should say that as well. They clicked off when they saw you as someone. Um, but however, you know, you're moving on and you're trying to do you and you're a loving person and you're just enjoying your life and you know you're not in a rush but you are progressing forward and new person is nervous because you're very confident in yourself and I love that stay confident but also you know hold their hand and just be like it's okay <laughs> I just get them, they might be a little bit introverted, um, or they just are very taken by the fact that you are more amazing than they expected or that they've ever had in their life. So that's where they might feel like, am I even deserving of Libra? Libra's way out of my league. No, they gotta, no. And that's where they gotta work on that self-love within them. Um, 
they're trying to progress towards self-love, but there's something that they're lacking. It looks like they're waiting for something to just kind of pass um, or waiting for love to make them feel whole. This is something they have to work on with them though. And just so you know, Libra, um, that self-love, it helps when you have a good person in your life who can guide you is not saying that they're being codependent on you, but, you know, teaching by example. Um, I just use that today. So teaching by example, you having all this love and just being who you are is going to make this person really want exactly what you have in that way that they're going to start asking questions and putting in the effort and say like, what do you do? Oh, I meditate or, you know, I do this or I pull cards daily or affirmations or whatever. And they're going to start putting that into perspective in their life. So they're going to start making those changes because they have good people around them. I feel like they dealt with, like, it's been a long time since this person felt love. I don't feel that they ever had the love that you have given them. And that's what makes them nervous because can they keep it? Is it sustainable for me to keep? What if it slips right through other people? You know, there's worry of that, but I feel that the more you two communicate with each other and the more that you lead by example of being just who you are, your authentic self, this person is going to come around with, I want to be my authentic self. How do I do that? Where do I start? And Ooh, a good book. Okay. Yeah. I like that. That came to mind. So, um, even good books on, you know, finding that self-love and self-care, maybe you have one that you would share with this person, but I couldn't let you get close to me. Um, so I'm getting this from your new person as well, because they want to be close to you closer, but because they are lacking on, you know, loving themselves 100%, there's something where they might tell themselves, I'm so stupid or I don't deserve love or whatever. And they might not say that around you, but it could be things that they tell themselves like, why would anyone want to be with me? They're an amazing person. They just have to start love, pouring that love back into them um, so they can, you know, give that love out into the world like you are. You poured the love into yourself and that's what they're seeing. So like I said, teach by example, lead by example. Um, This is what I have for you, Libra. I loved it. This reading was amazing and I felt like, I was really speaking on the the balancing scale of what y'all look for, you know, leading and teaching by example. Yes. And you are leaders and um, people can learn a thing or two from you or three or four or 10. (laughs) All right. I love y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. If this resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.